important, you might ask. Okay, guys, we are going to talk about radiation protection and safety. There are two standards <laughs> and regulations, Safety Code 35 and Alberta Regulation Protection Act. These are put in place to eliminate unnecessary exams to the patient. Can I just add something really quick? Okay, so for example, like what we've always like been learning is that um, for each patient that comes in, you would typically ask them, is there any chance of pregnancy? This is not only to help benefit the patient, but to also benefit the potential baby inside. And, sorry, one, one exposure to a fetus um, uh, between zero to two weeks could, also, uh, could result in something as dangerous as prenatal death. This is why it's super important and it's practiced in the hospitals so that we protect people. Exactly. Okay. A rare, as low as a reasonably achievable. Would you like to explain GSD? Yes, so GSD, it's the average dose amongst the whole population, those exposed and unexposed. So you're not only taking the people that are coming to the hospitals, constantly getting the radiation exposure, you're also including everyone that is just walking the streets that have never had an x-ray before in their whole lives. It stands for gonadal significant dose. Any questions? I don't think so. <laughs> As techs, we protect ourselves. Can we start? Sure. So what we have is our dosimeters, which have to be from, let's see my Mr. Bones here, from here up to here in this area. And of course, Terry ain't wearing her dosimeter. Okay, well, we didn't need them in our day, okay? Well, put it on. Fine. Okay. So next on the list is we're going to talk about lead shielding. We don't necessarily, necessarily wear lead shielding all the time, only when we are holding patients. So first, what we need to do is sometimes we'll have to wear lead aprons around our gonads like this. And then <laughs> lead collars like this, which are super sexy and a new trend. And if you are in a procedure, where do you want your dosimeter, Terry? You want it in between here and here. Underneath your lead apron. Mm -hmm. And then also, we're wearing lead gloves as well. Perfect. So now we're going to talk about mobiles. So just, wait, one, one, one question. What do the lead, how much lead do we need on these gloves? 0 0.25. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I don't show my tic -tac. Okay. Fine. Okay, let's talk about what we do when we take the x-rays. Okay, when we take x-rays. So say we're doing this on a mobile machine. We go up to patients' rooms, and when we're about to dispose, do you know how far away we are, Terry? Why are you dancing? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, what was the question? Repeat. So if we are taking our mobiles oh, upstairs yeah. to the patient's room, how far do we have to be away when we expose? So we're going to bring our little cord out and go back three meters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect. She got it right. Y'all remember that. Okay, now what is another thing we can do to protect ourselves? Do you know? Mm, no, I don't. Do you guys know? They don't know. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this uh, lead wall here. Oh, right. Right, right. Good one, Sarah. So okay. when we take the image, we have to go run behind this lead or concrete wall, and it helps protect ourselves. Not the patient, though, just us. Yep. <laughs> I'm glad we're so safe.
right, so now we are going to be teaching you guys about how we will protect our patients. Patients. Spelling does count. Guys, three cardinal rules. Time, just Now going off of shielding, uh, we have gonad shields, which we always have to shield our patients, we always do. Um, and then we have uh, the thyroid collar, which they'll always ask for. Um, damn Dr. Phil. And then, uh, for your information, sorry, I'm just going to add, oh, okay. um, lead, I mean, uh, thyroid collars have 0 0.5 millimeters of lead equivalency. Thank you. All right, so lead is one of the most important ways we protect our patients. Um, we also protect the general public as well, though, by having, um, by closing our exam room doors, by making sure that there's concrete barriers that have lead in them as well in our, in our walls. Um, we don't let people just come sit in the room with us, stuff like that. You got any good puns? I don't think so. <laughs>